An edition of the program Delta Women's Drum Beat, a program set aside for every woman in meeting their everyday needs. Joy Asai is my name. The Delta Women's Drum Beat is a weekly program that comes up every Monday morning by 11:45 a.m. on Crown 89.9 FM. On the program today, we will be talking about healthy eating, and the topic is good nutrition of food for pregnant women. To discuss this topic with me is Dr. Gabriel Igberase of the Shepherd Hospital and fertility center sir you're welcome you're welcome well before we hear from our doctor let's listen to the people's opinion about good nutrition for pregnant women enjoy good morning ma good morning. madam do you think eating a bowl of a bar in the morning and taking some shots of alcohol will help the baby grow well no i don't think so because uh, a bar is the heavy duty food and the uh, it's, it will not help the baby grow well. Moreover, alcohol is not a good thing. It sucks the blood. It drains the blood. The, like the baby inside, it will affect the mother. P people will see the appearance of alcohol, the effect on the mother. Because I've seen pregnant women that take alcohol. They, they don't look healthy. They look sickly. Good morning, ma. Good morning. Madam, um, as a pregnant woman, what kind of food do you like eating and the ones you don't like eating now that you're pregnant? Actually, I don't used to eat like that because if I eat anything, I will just throw up. Then what I normally do, I will just take a mineral like Sprite to make sure I relax my body. Then later on, I will start taking anything I just feel like eating. Because I don't have any really particular food I used to eat. If I see anything, maybe the tea just hungry me, I will eat it. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank so you, you don't really have a special food, a special diet now that you're pregnant? No, 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 I don't have a special diet. Alright, thank you very much. Information is the key to financial success. Education is part that controls success. Taking the right nutrition into the body is the way out of illness and diseases. Knowing your right in the constitution is self-confidence. Agriculture is more important to the nation than the crude oil. Do you want to know the agricultural principle and educated one on how to apply those principles? Then join us on Delta Women Drum Beats every Monday at 11.45 a.m. and get this information on health education, laws of the constitution, and agriculture. Once again, date Monday, time 11.45 a.m. Delta Women Drumbit, the voice for us all. Hmm, you see, different family has different nutritional needs. For example, children need a lot of protein, vitamins, energies, and minerals for growing bones and teeth. Why elder people requires frequent small meals, including pregnant women. If you're just tuning in, this is Delta Women's Trumpet. Let's go over to the topic of today, good nutrition of food for pregnant women. And I have with me Dr. Gabriel Igberase. Sir, as a doctor that takes care of women and everything that concerns pregnant women, can you tell our listener, especially women that are pregnant, what is nutrition? Nutrition is the process of eating the right kind of food in a balanced proportion in order to give rise or come uh, in in order to produce a healthy baby and a healthy mother um, in pregnancy nutrition is very 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 important 
because malnutrition can lead to a lot of harm to the mother and the baby. So nutrition is something that is so important in pregnancy. Okay, thank you very much. It's, um, nutrition is very important to the woman and a baby. Okay, good. What does good food do for the body of the pregnant woman and her unborn baby? It is very important for a woman that is pregnant to eat well, to eat good food, what you've just called good food, or what we would call a balanced meal or a balanced diet. And um, it is not just for pregnancy alone. It is proper for a woman to start eating a balanced meal even before pregnancy so that she'll be able to go through the whole course of pregnancy. And um, the pregnancy is divided into trimesters, three trimesters. First 13 weeks, then 13 to 26, then 26 to 40 weeks. Now, the first 13 weeks is so vital because the first eight weeks is when the baby's central nervous system, the brain, the heart, and vital organs are being formed. So when a woman does not eat well or she takes something that is harmful, she can come give birth to a baby who has abnormalities in the brain, in the heart, and in the different systems. So it is very, very important that she eats well. She also needs to eat well so that she will have enough energy, enough stamina to go through pregnancy. She needs to be healthy during pregnancy so that she will not be prone to diseases, she will not be prone to anemia, she will not be prone to miscarriages and infections. All right, thank um, you very much. Anyway, we'll come back to that other question. So let's just go over to the next question. What are the problem of poor nutrition during pregnancy? In other words, what happened to the pregnant woman and her baby if she does not eat well? If a woman does not really eat well, it will translate to the baby. Meaning that a woman who is starving herself, who is going to give birth to a baby, who is also going to be starved, you know. Uh, but the way God, God is so faithful or merciful, the way he has created human beings is this, you know, the woman must be seriously malnourished and starved before it gets to the baby, right? And it must be for a long period of starvation. So the baby would deplete everything the mother has. And it's when the mother doesn't really have anything again that it will start affecting the baby. Now, for the early part of pregnancy, let's say the first trimester, if the woman is not eating well or if she's taking harmful things, she's going to have, uh, she'll be prone to having miscarriages. She'll be prone to having, you know, abnormalities in, in the baby, abnormalities in growth of the central nervous system of the baby and the general development of the baby. Even when the baby is born, the baby may be retarded you know um, and growth restricted and um, the baby may not function well mentally the baby may suffer you know may not even develop well you know developmental milestones of the baby may be um, uh, retarded so it is so so important that the mother is very very well for her to have a healthy baby the baby may not be able to become uh, a professional like me you need <laughs> you know you need intelligence okay <laughs> all right so for the baby to become a professional like you the mother has to eat, eat well very well good very well. um you know a lot of women they stay in the village today and most of them they'll tell you that they can't afford some of those foods i would not even know the names of the food now some of them will tell you the foods are expensive in the market so what can she eat that can that will be nutritious or that can be nutritious to the baby and for her interestingly except in the villages except you have those who are very very poor and cannot afford anything those in the villages would actually even do better than those in the cities in the cities you eat a lot of refined food canned foods and all the rest in the villages they eat plenty of vegetables and those vegetables they have um, in my village we have plenty of vegetables and you have good folic acid from those vegetables they they can eat yam from the farm right beans rice they can get fish from the streams from the rivers and all the rest the, f the meals they eat in the villages are not refined they are actually fresh you have fresh oranges papa you know banana and all the rest so what they just need is just some intelligence some wisdom to get these meals in the right proportion and it's they would even do well 
except they cannot really really afford so those ladies who says taking alcohol like one shot of a gogoro in the morning mm. the ones that stay in the village it makes their baby to kick very well uh. is, is it really good for them to take alcohol in the morning why they've not eaten anything present recommendations internationally mm -hmm. says alcohol should not be taken at all in pregnancy okay because it would affect the growth of the baby it will lead to a retardation or restriction of the growth and development of the baby mm -hmm. in the womb mm -hmm. and some of these babies are born with abnormalities there's okay. what we call the fetal alcohol syndrome so they have low chins some degree of retardation and all the rest alcohol is not taken another thing that is should be avoided in pregnancy is smoking Okay. With, with modernization, we find a lot of young women who smoke in pregnancy. Smoking reduces the growth of the baby, affects mm -hmm. the growth of the baby, okay. can even kill the baby in the womb. Okay, because yeah. of our time, we have to move to the next question, which is very, very important. Uh, is there any drugs that serves as food supplement for pregnant women that can be nutritious as a normal food that we eat? There is nothing that will still take the place of a balanced diet because in a balanced diet we have balanced um, proportion of carbohydrates proteins fats in a balanced proportion and you may not get everything compounded in tablets mm -hmm. all right mm -hmm. however pregnant women are advised to take some medications like um, prenatals pregnant care we have nata care in my practice we use nata care a lot because it has calcium in it mm -hmm. pregnant care does not have calcium mm -hmm. however they have a lot of um, minerals and vitamins in them both pregnant care and um and nata care so pregnant women are advised to take those just one a day and they have a, a lot of components chemical okay. components and vitamins minerals that we serve iron that will help the pregnant woman okay and these pregnancy. drugs they can get this they drugs can get them in any, in any, pharmacies. any pharmacies and they okay. are cheap and they are available right. okay mm -hmm. my advice to every pregnant woman and every intended pregnant woman is to see the expert go and visit your gynecologist and obstetrician thank you very much it's a nice time with you well we have come to the hands of today's program on delta women's trumpet do keep another date with me every monday by 11 45 a.m where i will be talking about diabetes don't forget to visit shepherd hospital and fertility center for more information about dr Igberase or call on us on 090-321-74129 and 081-230-27972 or our facebook page on www.facebook.com slash data women's drum bits my name is joy osai on behalf of my producers, Delta Women, NGO CEO and founder, Delta Women's Team Volunteers, to stay healthy and live well. Hey, we put some hands together, oh, yeah. to make